guys, Karen here with another video. Welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching. Please forgive this lighting. Um, the sun is moving right now, um, but I'm trying to position it just right. But if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We're glad that you're here. And if you're currently enjoying the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love for you to join the fam. And to all of our returning subscribers, hey y'all, hey. So <laughs> uh, we are so glad that you guys are here. And I'm um, just thinking, do we have any housekeeping? Only one. So uh, we have an upcoming um, Conversations with Karen and Maya. On November 11th is actually going to be conversations with Karen and the hubster and um, it's an ask us anything we posted it over at the community tab if you have any questions for us that you want us to an answer um, you can drop it over there we'd love to see we already have some questions but we would love lots of questions um, so if you want to ask us anything head on over to the community tab and you'll find it um, in that post-it area. But moving right along, I noticed that this year I hadn't really done a video dedicated to the um, colorway, uh, the different colorways that were released, the new colors that were released by Le Creuset in 2023. Um, we talked about them, but I thought it would be really fun if I did it all in one video. So there were, from the beginning of the year till now, there were three new releases. Um, and then we had one um, that they just uh, re-released. Um, but then I was thinking, did it go anywhere? Maybe it did. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll get into that. So I thought let's chat about that because that's always fun. And so I will insert pictures of the different colors that were released and how they were um, used and what have you. So let's get into it to all those who enjoy talking about the different colors. Okay, so our first step, the first color that was released in February was matte navy. Now I'm going to go out on a limb here and say when I first saw matte navy, I thought it was nice, but I really wasn't that interested in it because it was very dark. Now, after looking at it for so long, I'm going to, I know that I'm going to get a piece in that color and I'll tell you why. Um, it, the, I have my handy dandy notebook here. So the matte navy, navy is a deep, rich, matte color that could complement any other color. And my favorite pairing with it was flame. And so when I went back and looked at the pictures of the matte navy color next to the color flame, I was like, girl, you gotta get this color. You have got to get this color. To have that sitting on the counter somewhere together, oh, I thought that, and then, you know, I was thinking about, you know, if we changed the colors in the kitchen a little bit, like different paint color. And to really like bring that out, come on, that's gonna look gorgeous. Um, on the softer side, um, the matte navy and chiffon pink, gorgeous. And if you're looking for a more kind of uh, modern, kind of um, streamlined, you would uh, pair matte navy with white or um, meringue, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, Matte Navy is also exclusive to William Sonoma, so you can find it at lecrusade.com as well as the William Sonoma um, website and in store. Gorgeous color. Um, I think it's a it's a classic color. It has I have all my notes here. Flat finish and it becomes just like a it's it's cool or warm, determined by whatever color you place it next to. And that's what I really like about it. Um, even with this matte finish, it still has a beautiful glossy shine. And that's one thing I like about it. It's, it's so beautiful. So I was thinking to myself like, girl, you have got to get you one piece of this. So I know for sure that I will be adding the color matte navy. Um, if for nothing else, just so it can sit next to um, the flame, the color flame, but that means that I have to find something that I will use in the color matte navy. But 
you know, not, uh, you know, never fear. They have almost every piece available in the color matte navy. Um, and so next up, the next color that was released, and it was released in April, was Shallot. Okay, so Shallot is exclusive to Crate and Barrel. Um, it's fa my favorite pairing with Shallot would be because Shallot was very kind of um, soft, very soft, faint color. Um, the my favorite pairing with Shallot would be white because it brought out the it brought out the the softness of the shallot color um, when it sat next to white to me. And what I thought really helped you see more of the pink, the pinky tones in the shallot was if it sat next to meringue. Um, that those were my pairings for that one because it's such a soft color. Um, you know, it was named after the alliums. Um, you know that are that are used heavily in French cuisine. Um, and, you know, just reading about it, the desire was that the color would bring calm and a sophisticated feel um, next to the other colors. Um, it's their softest neutral. And that's what it was supposed to be, a soft neutral. Okay. Um, let me know what you all thought about uh, Shallot. It was a little, it was a little too soft for me and a little too neutral. Although I thought it was a pretty color when photographed and what they paired it with, um, it wasn't a color that really stood out as strong to me. If I wanted a pink, I wanted pink. Um, but that one didn't come across as strong as, uh, for me, but I still thought it was a very pretty color. Um, but it made sense when they said it was their softest neutral. That made a whole lot of sense to me. Let me know in the comments below how you felt about Shallot as well. So we're going to move on quickly because I'm not I'm not trying to keep you guys long today. <laughs> um, the next step, which was released in October, was Time. Yes, um, it's exclusive to William Sonoma, so you can get it at LaCrusade.com and William Sonoma. And you probably can find it in other places too. Um, I just know that William Sonoma is going to carry the whole line of it as well. The color was inspired by my favorite herb, which is thyme. Um, and so I thought, okay, you got to get a little something in this uh, color simply because my favorite herb is thyme. So, you know, to have that color way, you know, I was like, oh, that could, that would be memorable. Um, Time appears darker to me. Time appears darker at the bottom, similar to when you're uh, harvesting the thyme. The herb is darker at the bottom the closer it is to the ground and gets lighter, gr lighter green towards the top. Um, you know, and it's very, very, it's a very earthy color. Um, I thought some good pairings would be thyme and white, thyme and nectar. And then time and Rowan. Um, those are I, I was like, those would be beautiful, especially time and Rowan around the holidays. Oh, that would be so gorgeous. Let me know if you found something that you like in the color time. Um, it took me a few days to warm up to it because as you all know, I'm a bamboo. <laughs> the color bamboo is like so like I'm like got tunnel vision on bamboo and I am I am determined to get a bamboo piece at some point in time. I'm saving a little coin aside just for a piece in bamboo. I mean that. I really would like it if they had the chef's oven in bamboo. But we're not talking about bamboo, Karen. We are talking about time. Okay. All right. Stay focused. All right. So, time is gorgeous um the one thing that i did see like when they put time in the chef's oven with the gold knob that was beautiful 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 um let me know what you have in time have you received your piece in time yet um and then last but not least we have the re-release of the color chiffon pink um, as you know, I have the color chiffon pink in the chef's oven 
I like it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I don't, I, I'm wondering why there was a re-release, but I do think that it's a, like, um, when you look at shallot and look at chiffon pink, if you're looking for a pink color, chiffon pink is going to be up your alley. Um, I think it's bright, it's gorgeous, it's glossy, um, and the color stands out well. If you're looking for a bright, bold pink, it's going to sit up well on your countertops, and they just released that. My question now is, will we get another release before the end of the year? What do you guys think? Will we get another color before the end of the year? Mm, I'm... I'm hoping so. That would be fun, but maybe time is it for the year. Maybe that was like the evergreen color that will, you know, be reminiscent of the holidays and whatnot. Or maybe there's another color coming. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm looking forward to hearing it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!